You've probably noticed that the coronavirus is taking a toll on all of us. If you've been feeling at all anxious, depressed, just generally nervous, you're having trouble sleeping, you're drinking too much, you're smoking too much, you're just, you can't remember as well, you're not alone. We're in the middle of a national mental health crisis. And the good news is there is hope. Over the last 20 years or so, uh, researchers and clinicians have been studying various ways that are powerful in reducing stress. And two that have bubbled up as being promising are expressive writing and another method called motivational interviewing. There's been a collaborative team that has been working to try to bring these two together and tie them in with uh, artificial intelligence and using computer guided systems. This new method is called expressive interviewing. And what it does is it uses a computer guided system to interview people and ask them questions and guide them through a, a way of thinking to change their perceptions and emotions as it relates to the coronavirus. This new system is quite promising and we hope you listen more and start to evaluate this on your own. Expressive interviewing allows users to keep their anonymity. Equipped with a set of base questions that outline the experience, the interviewer comes up with new questions in real time based on how the user replies. It builds questions from topics of interest they mention and emotions expressed in their language. From interactions with approximately 200 users who use expressive interviewing, we find a significant correlation between how meaningful the interaction is, how personal it feels to the user, and how much it decreases their stress. We also find that people who write more see a greater reduction in stress. We release the interviewer as a response to the isolating effects that can result from social distancing measures designed to curb the spread of COVID-19, and we intend to carry the work forward as a method for dealing with a variety of difficult topics in people's lives. Expressive writing. Writing for the purpose of putting thoughts and feelings into words is often used as a way to work through uncertainty or ambivalence. Similarly, motivational interviewing is a directed form of therapy that seeks to help the interviewees find clarity on an issue through guided questions. First, we can go to expressiveinterviewing.org where our system is currently online. When we click the link, we'll be taken to this page describing the study, our system is easy to use and does not require you to create an account or to provide any personal information. Your answers will be stored to help improve the computerized feedback, but they will not be connected to any identifying information. When we hit submit, we'll be taken to the next page where we're asked two questions about our current stress level and life satisfaction during the pandemic. Then you can hit submit on this page and you'll be taken to the conversation. The computer program will introduce itself and ask you about your current life situation. This begins the conversation and you can type responses in the text box at the bottom of the screen. As you begin typing, a timer on the left side of the screen will help you keep track of how long you've been writing, but if you prefer not to use it, you can ignore it. The exercises encourage users to write several sentences when replying to prompts, but for the purposes of this video, I will copy a response I've already written. After several turns in the interaction, the conversation will end and you'll be taken to a summary screen. The summary screen allows you to see a visual breakdown of the types of topics, emotions, and pronouns you've used. It also gives you a value of emotional tone, self-reflection, in meaningfulness as compared to recent users. At the bottom of the page, there's a button to reset if you'd like to have the interaction again. You can come back and use it as many times as you wish. There's also a feedback page that will help us improve the tool and subsequently help those who are experiencing increased anxiety, loneliness, depression, or mental health issues.